Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Joby Styles. You already know what it is. Happy New Year, everyone. This is my favorite time of the year because this is when everyone feels inspired and they have all these aspirations. I just want to see how long they're going to last, okay? Well, me personally, I aspire and I really want to be consistent with my video posts as well as my Instagram and everything as well. I want to get into some more acting and I really just want to be the best self that I can be, including going to the gym four times and five times a week. We'll see how that goes. But for this look, what I wanted to do is kind of step up from that everyday work look in 2018 and just give them a little bit of beat. Like, get up an extra 10, 15 minutes and just serve in 2019. Ain't nothing but to do it, right? So, I just wanted to really focus on a nice even complexion as well as a simple eye that can cut a bitch and a lip that goes for days, honey. Yes. Alright, so without further ado, subscribe. <laughs> you thought I was gonna forget now it's 2019 go ahead and subscribe I ain't doing all this work without you subscribing and just enjoying the fam and just come come a part of the community this year we're gonna be a part of the community right so go ahead and subscribe yes all right so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into this video okay <laughs> start off with this routine I want to add a little bit of moisture I'm gonna start off with my lips because they're feeling really dry right now I'm going to use my Kush Lip Balm from Milk Makeup. She feels so good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so once our lips are nice and hydrated, I like to go ahead and also use the Milk Makeup. This is their Watermelon Essence Stick, which I love. So it's a serum stick, but I'm using it as like a little bit of moisture, honestly. Because I am more oily, and what I like about this, it actually dries down to a nice matte finish while still hydrating. So it doesn't feel like greasy or anything. And I just kind of put it all over. And it also gives you some nice brightening. Vitamin A, C, and E. So that's always good for the skin. And then I kind of like press it in. Kind of like you would like a moisturizer. Alright, so now I want to go ahead and prime. I'm using the Tatcha Primer. You guys know this is one of my favorite primers. So I'm just going to take a good amount. It says to take a right size amount. But I take as much as I need. <laughs> so y'all know I get oily. So I put it where I oily and where I notice pores. Um, and then also on my neck. Because that's where it's textured. And then I just go ahead and rub her in. And you'll notice that when you use this. Like literally all your texture kind of like disappears and it melts away. Which I love. So recently what I've been doing just to get a perfect complexion is after I prime I like to go ahead and color correct before I actually put my foundation on and do my concealer and everything. So to do that what I'm going to use today is my Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer and this is the shade 14. I like this one because it's really close to my skin tone but it has a little bit of like a peachiness to it. Just a very very slight which is enough to color correct. I don't really need anything like crazy because I have some dark spots, but I don't really try to make it like perfect, perfect. I just wanted to just, you know, give me a little something, something. So I'm just going to apply a little bit with my beauty blender to where I need it. Just wherever I have some extra darkness that I know the foundation isn't really going to cover. Alright, and so once I pretty much put that everywhere I wanted it. I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation now. I'm using the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation as well as the Lancome to Idol. The reason why I'm using both is because my Lancome is a little bit light, but my NARS doesn't give me the coverage I want. If I put them together, it's going to give me everything I need. Once I got that good mixture on, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that with the flat part of my sponge. I'm using the Real Technique sponge, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it all over. You see how much more of a match that is now? And it has the coverage that I want. So now that my foundation's on, um, before I set in everything, I kind of like to throw on my brow and then do my concealer. For the brow, since this is going to be like a nice everyday, I want to keep it nice and simple. I like to use a brow gel. So I'm using the Milk Kush Fiber Brow Gel, which I really like because it has a great shape to it. So you can really get a nice brow shape really quickly. And it has fibers in it, so it fills in spots where you don't have hairs. So I like to kind of just brush it through. And I'm also using the color Grind, 
which is their deepest shade. It comes in three different shades, which I like because it's pretty neutral. So and you just want it to look really natural. You're not trying to do too much. So you see how that kind of fills it in a little bit. And then I kind of turn it and do this side and kind of just create the shape that I want. I like a thicker brow and like more uneven look. So I just kind of brush it through and kind of call it a day, honestly. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. All right, so once you have your brows on, this is 2019, so we're trying to step it up a notch. So just instead of leaving it like this, I do wanna clean it up with just a little bit of a concealer. But I'm gonna use my Lancome Time Idol Concealer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take a nice flat brush. This is one that came in a set from Storybooks Cosmetics, so it's like one of my little Harry Potter little wand thingamajiggies. Super duper cute. And so I'm just gonna take a nice flat brush, load that up with a little bit of the concealer and then I'm just going to trace around my brows just a little bit nothing too heavy but just to clean it up on the underside of them yep I like that nice and clean but nothing too crazy you know all right, so once you achieve the shape that you want from, you know, tracing out with the concealer, I like to go ahead and use my sponge and take the pointy side and just kind of blend that out a little bit. It is really close to my foundation shade that I use, so that's actually perfect because we're keeping it natural. No super bright highlight for 2019, please. Let's wind it back in. Let's get it together, okay? Thank you. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and conceal. So to do that, I'm going to use my Lancome concealer that I just used, just for extra coverage. And I'm gonna apply that. I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I just used to apply it under my brows, just to lay it down. And then I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge. All right, so now that I have that on, I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. Let me make sure I get all up in there. So once you feel like everything is nice and blended, then you're good. Good to go, let's go, let's go party. Now, I just wanna add a little bit of light. So I'm gonna use my Sephora Collection Bright Future Serum Concealer, which is very lightweight. And the color that I use is Creme de Caramel. That's Creme Caramel. So we're just gonna take a little bit of that. This is my highlight now. I know you're like, Ryan, how much are you really gonna conceal today? But, I mean, just for that perfect 2019 look, we're just gonna do just a slight. Well, that's like color correcting, conceal, and then highlight. I mean, that's fine. It's worth it, damn it, it is worth it, okay? All right, so once you have that on, just go ahead and blend her out with your beauty sponge as well. I love the texture of this concealer because it just blends out right on top of the other one. It just gives you a little bit of light. So once that's nice and blended, I'm gonna go ahead and set. I'm going to use my Maker Forever Matte Powder, and this is going to be in the shade, I don't know, because it's gone, but this has a nice peachy tone to it, which I really like for medium to deeper skin tones, so we're going to just give it a little bit of light. I'm applying it with my beauty sponge, and I start on the outwards going in, I'm setting everywhere where I just concealed. We are set, we are set, we are set. Add a little bit of extra, almost like a baking technique under the eye, but that's just gonna be to catch some fallout. So for the eye look, I do wanna keep it really simple. I kinda already have concealer and foundation and setting powder on my lid, so I really don't need to prime it. Um, but I will use just a little bit. I'm gonna use my caffeine primer, which is literally the same color as like my skin. <laughs> so we're just gonna put a little bit of that on the lid, just a little bit. But I don't want to move around what I have on there too much. Alright, so we're going to get into this palette. I'm using the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vogue Cosmetics. Super cute packaging, right? Mm. And it's a bird cage. It's super cute with a little birdie outside, all free and whatnot. So for this nice and simple look, I kind of want to start off, honestly, I just want it to be like a kind of like contoured with a little bit of shimmer. We just want to keep it simple and polished, okay? So I want to start off with a little bit of this color right here called Flip Out, and that's going to be a nice brown shade just to contour with. So I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to go ahead and use Flip Out with a nice fluffy brush, and that's going to be our crease. 
I know you're like, oh, that's dark. Is it going to be a super smoky look? No, not really. It's work appropriate. Beautiful. Simple as that. All right, so once you have that color blended nice into the crease and that was flip out, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of hide and seek with this, which is this shade right here. I'm going to use one of my Mikasa brushes. Um, one thing about the Mikasa brushes, they're awesome brushes, but it rubs off, so you can't really see which one it is, so mm, you're bad. I'm going to go ahead and use hide and seek, and that's going to give us just a little bit of light on the lid, especially if you're a deeper skin tone. See that? Now, I like to use a little bit of sparkle, so I'm going to use this color right here, which is Clutch, which is right next to Hide and Seek, which we just used. Now, for good pigment, I like to just go ahead and apply it with my finger. So I'm just going to take my ring finger and get a good amount of shadow on there. And we're using that shade Clutch, and I'm going to apply that right to the lid. More so in the center. Yep, just like that. All right, so now that you have that shade on, which was clutch, I wanna go ahead and deepen out the corners a little bit. You don't have to do this step. I like to add a little bit of drama. I'm gonna take a nice pointy brush to do that, and I'm gonna use the color Swoop. And I'm gonna take that pointer brush, and I'm gonna take that to the outer corners. And I'm gonna lightly flick it inwards from the outer corner. And let in like my eye shape be the guide for it. All right, I'm loving this because it's nice and simple. So to finish off this look for now, what I like to do is kind of highlight the inner corner. If you want, you can take it to the bottom lash line. I feel like for a day look, you really don't really need to do that. But I tend to like to, so I'm gonna just take that pointer brush again, and I'm going to use Flip Out, which is the first color we used in the beginning. And I'm going to just apply that to a little bit to the outside corner of the bottom lash line. Just as like a little bit of like a liner type situation. Once you're done with the eye shadow, I like to use a little bit of eyeliner. I just like to add a little bit extra dimension. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Milk Eyeliner Embossed, which is their black shade, and I'm going to put that to the lower rim. So now that I have that liner on the bottom lash line, I like to go ahead and do a liquid liner. If you want, you can just do a regular liner. I, you know, I love to do a good old wing, so I'm going to use my MAC liquid liner to do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back in a snap. I'm going to go ahead and dust off this powder and continue up the rest of my face. I normally like to do my mascara last, 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 just so there's nothing on my lashes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that off. So to contour, I'm gonna use my Sephora Collection Contour Kit. I'm gonna use my nice deep, deep, deep shape right here. First place first is on my forehead. So we're gonna go ahead and take her down. Let me take you down. I really wanna take you down. Make your forehead smaller. Getting a little bit more of that. I get into the contouring of my forehead because she's a mean one, Mr. Forehead. Yeah, get into this contour. Yes, honey. Y'all, oh, it's right there. And I'm going to push that upwards to really carve out that cheekbone and bring it up into my temple and bring it out and just serve. The slatage is real. Yes, for the gods. Boom, boom. Other side. Survey says your cheekbones are here. Now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to reinforce the highlight under my eyes. So I'm going to use this yellow tone and mix it with a little bit of this one. And I'm going to use that with a highlight brush. We're going to use that under the eyes. All right, so now that we got our light and we contour it, I like to go ahead and finish it off with the bronze. So to bronze, what I like to use is my Sephora Collection Micro Smooth in the color 60. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of brush it all over, mainly in the areas where I contoured. And just, it kind of just works as a finishing powder, but also a nice bronzer just to tie everything together nicely. All right, so now that I've done that, 
I kind of want to add blush. Usually I do blush before bronze. I didn't think about it though, so we're just going to go ahead and do that now. I'm going to use um, a blush brush, I guess. I just want to use a nice blush that's going to be a nice natural looking tone just to give you a little bit of a flusher tone. So I'm going to use this one from Pretty Vulgar. It's called Charmingly Sinful. I love the packaging. It's super cute. And I'm just going to take a little bit on an angled brush. I like this because it's a nice mauve pink. Yeah, so I'm just going to apply that. So now that your blush is on, I want to highlight. And you know what I've been loving to highlight with all through 2018, which I'm going to continue to do unless y'all get something better. I'm going to use my Black Up Highlighter. So in order to apply my Black Up Highlighter in the Jenny Jenkins Little Quad, freaking love this one. I want to go a little bit more on the rose gold side today. So I'm going to use that and then I want to mix it with a little bit of this guy here. I feel like she's going to give us ultimate shine power. And these things are just bomb for a deeper skin tone. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of that everywhere where I want to glow for the boards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know I'm ODing right now, but I just want you guys to be able to see it on camera. Mm-hmm. She's here. I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. Love it. Get that nice and good. And then sometimes I look and see if I need to add a little bit more highlight. I feel like we're good. So I have these guys. These are the Pretty Vulgar Mascaras. So I figured I'd do the eye palette, so why not use the mascara as well? So I have their eye primer, which is called Down Below. And then I have their mascara, which is the Feather. So first we're gonna do their mascara primer. And recently they did get a brand new brush for their primer. Before it was like a paddle thing, which wasn't the best applicator. I'm sorry, but it wasn't. But now they have like a regular mascara wand applicator. So I'm really loving that. So we're gonna go ahead and prime the lashes with the down below. And I like that it's a nice black like lash primer. Which makes sense because like you want nice black lashes. Have a black lash primer. Yeah. Alright, so now that that mascara primer is on, and honestly, I feel like this looks good on its own, we're gonna go ahead and use the mascara. So, this is the Feathers mascara from Pretty Vogers as well. Pretty Vogar, I said Pretty Vogers. Uh, and so, with this one, it has like that curve shape to it, which I really, really like. One of my favorite mascaras is the Dior Overgirl mascara, it has the same type of wand. Um, but I feel like this one gives you a little bit more product on there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that guy. Yes! So now we're going to go ahead and get into this lip, honey. I'm going to use one of my favorite lip trios, one that I've created on my own. Um, if I ever come out with a brand, like, I'm going to have these as staple colors, like, for a natural lip for my skin tone. Like, it's literally everything. So, start off with is the MAC Cork Lip Liner. Don't judge me, I can't find my pencil sharpener right now, so she is a little worn down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips with that. All right, so I just completely line my lips with that. And so next, for the actual lip color, what I like to use is Ofra in the color Verona. And once it gets on the lip, it's a very much peachy nude. So I basically put it where I didn't put the lip liner and then I kind of marry the two together. So you can leave it like that if you love a nice matte lip. But if you know me, you know I love me some gloss, gloss lips. I like my lips nice and spicy, honey. So I'm going to top this with my Urban Decay lip gloss. This is their Hi-Fi lip gloss. This is in the color Back Talk, which is a nice mauve pink tone, which I really, really love. Tap that in the center. Yeah, I just love the way that looks with the gloss on top of it. It still keeps it peachy, but it gives it a little bit of extra shine and kind of tones down the peachiness just a little bit from that mauviness and the back talk. Hmm. 
And I'm loving this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this look and that you can really relate to it and feel like you can use this look for an everyday type of occasion, work, or whatever, you know? Um, if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like this video, and share it to your friends and your family. And also, please go ahead and subscribe. If you ain't do it in the beginning of the video, please take the time to do it now. It's right there. Like, literally, it's like right there. Like, just subscribe. And please tell your mother, your father, your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, your auntie, whoever. Joby Styles is where it's at. You know, just, just... Let it resonate for a second. Joby Styles is where it's at. And this is where it's going to be in 2019. So please come back. See what else I got for you. All right. Until next time.